The goal of this video is to show you how to create a simple differential drive car. We'll be creating a chassis, which is a, going to be a cuboid. Then we'll create two joints for the left and right wheel. They're shown in red here. And then finally, we'll create the left and right wheel, which are going to be cylinders. Once we create the differential drive car, we'll put in an incline and run the simulation. So we'll start by making the chassis. Okay, so I'm going to choose the dimension along the x direction to be, let's say, 0.5, dimension along the y axis to be, let's say, 0.3, and we would make the thickness along the z axis to be 0.05. Okay. Uh, let's rename this to chassis. And if you wish, you can change the color. So here I'm going to make it white. Okay, and the next step is I'm going to move this slightly up. So move along Z direction. And I want some precise movement. So I'm going to say uh, Z coordinate motion of, uh, let's say, 0 0.1, since the thickness was 0 0.05. Okay. And now I'm going to rotate this. So my goal now is to make a joint and a wheel on the right side of the chassis and a wheel, a joint and a wheel on the left side. So let's get started. So add joint revolute. Let's call this uh, joint one or joint left. This is joint, joint right. And right now it's buried inside, so I'm going to move it. So translate. Mass translation, I want to translate along the y-axis. Okay, so it looks a bit small. Let's re resize it. Just make it, uh, say, 0.5. That's good enough. Okay, now I'm going to uh, create the wheel. Let's add primitive shape cylinder and so now let's make it uh, let's see point point two perhaps and let's make the thickness along the z direction to be point zero okay, so again there yeah, let's rename that to wheel right and we want to place it right on the joint. So a trick here is to make the wheel as a child of joint, then do translate, select position, parent frame. So what is going on here is we're trying to move the position of the wheel with respect to its parent, which is the joint. So we just make it zero. So you can see the wheel is sitting right there. We now want to move it slightly up. So that seems to be the blue, which is the z-axis. So I'm going to move this 5.0 files. Something move. Uh, let me undo this. Control Z. I'll go to the wheel again. In the z-coordinate, let's change this to 0 0.025. Will be more 0 0.05. A little bit more. Point zero seven. Now that we've got that, let's rotate this whole thing. So I want to rotate the joint, and since the wheel is a part of the joint, both of them will rotate. So rotation. Um, so rotation about. In this case, I think I need to rotate the x-axis in order for it to be uh, in the direction I want. So long x. Let's say. 90 and this and it suddenly disappeared. So what I'm going to do is to get it back. The simplest way to do this is again make the joint right as a child of chassis and now go to joint right, say translate, just choose zero here. So it's right there now. And so now what I want to do is let me just rotate the view. So I need to move this slightly out 
So again, I do the same thing, translate with respect to the parent frame. I'm going to now guess since I cannot see the axis on the parent frame. Let's try point Z, point one. You move in the wrong direction, minus point one. That looks right. Let's do it slightly out. Uh, so minus um, point two. Okay, that looks okay. Let's move it towards uh, towards us. So I'm going to guess it's this point one. Not right. So it must be the x coordinate. One. The opposite direction. Okay, let's view, looks good. I think it looks okay. Okay, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create uh, another wheel. Um, now in principle, what I could do is I can take joint right, wheel right, copy it, uh, rotate it by 180 degrees and translate it. So it's just sticking right here. But the issue with that would be that uh, a clockwise rotation of, uh, of one wheel, uh, of, sorry, of both wheels will cause the chassis to rotate about its own axis. It won't let the chassis to go forward. That is because the axes are going to be so oriented that positive is going to be forward for one wheel and, and positive will be negative for the other one. So what I need to do is, instead of doing that, I need to sort of create the left wheel from scratch. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start with the right wheel and make a copy of that, paste, let me call that left wheel. And uh, now I want to move that on the left of the chassis. And the easiest way of doing that is to make that a, a child of joint right. Okay, so now left is front of, uh, a child of joint right. Uh, click on translate. And I'm just looking to translate it along this axis. So. I'm just again I'm going to guess. So since this part of the chassis is 0.3, I'm guessing 0.3 should be sufficient. That's wrong direction. Let's try this. Okay, so it looks like it should be minus point. Uh, let's rotate and observe this. It seems it needs to be a little bit uh, inside. So let's move it out a little bit more. So again, go to translate. Make it point four. I think that looks okay. Yes, so we've got that. Now let's do the same thing with the wheel right. Take wheel right, make a copy. Let's call it wheel left. And um, we have the option of making a, it a, ch a child of joint, or in this case, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make it a child of wheel right. And then I'm going to mirror it. So I just need to say translate parent frame. I'm going to guess it's same as this, so 0.5. That's no for the directions, so minus 0.5. Uh, slightly more, so minus 0.6. Okay, this is a little bit less than that, so 0.5. Okay, so now this structure is messed up. I'm going to fix that. So what I need to do is I'm going to make the joint left as the child of chassis. And then I want to make wheel left as the child of joint left. And so now the structure looks okay. So now uh, let me rotate this. That looks good. Looks like it's slightly in there, but it's still okay. So it, you see that it's exciting. In order to make it move, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create, create an inclined plane and keep it on the inclined plane. But first, let's just change the color of this so it's bright and visible. I'm going to make this black and the other one too. Now we're going to create a plane and uh, put the differential drive car on a plane and let it move. So first thing we'll do is move this 
car up you see okay let's move it slightly to the left so it will be negative x-axis okay let's create a plane let's make it uh, five meters in the x direction and in the y direction let's make it about let's say two meters now we'll rotate the plane to make it an inclined plane we'll rotate about the y-axis okay let's move it slightly up along c Let's move the car a little down, along C, and uh, along C only. And move it back a little bit, so it starts on the top of the plane. Okay. Now we'll just hit play. And you see that the car goes inside the plane, that's because the plane is not respondable, it doesn't detect collision, so we'll click on plane. Go to dynamic properties, make the body respondable, and then play. And now you see that the car is turning, and that's probably because there's a lot of friction between the plane and the wheels of the car. So we'll fix that by clicking on double clicking on plane, show dynamic properties, edit material, and since we're using uh, bullet 2.7 we need to change the properties of bullet 2.78 so we'll change that to let's say 0 0.2 like this and you can see the car actually moved and it fell now it was too fast so we'll change it to real time and then uh play so you can see the car is traveling under the effect of gravity 